Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Do you love slime? I sure do. A lot of people love to make and play with slime. You might be thinking, but why would I need to buy the slime supplies and make the slime when I could just buy the slime itself? But that may not be the case. In this video, I will be comparing store-bought slime and homemade slime to see which one is better and if store-bought slime is really worth it. Let's compare them. So let's start with the store-bought slime. I bought this six pack of glitter slimes for six to seven dollars at Walgreens. Well, let's see if it's worth it. Oh my god. Ugh. It's not coming out. For one thing, this is very hard to get out of the container. Why would they put it in a container like this? It it just makes it that much harder to, to get out of the container and to play with. I do love the fart noises it makes, though. <laughs> so it took me a good minute or two to get this out of the container. So another thing is, it leaves a lot of residue. It's very slippery, and it leaves a very slippery residue all over my hands and my table. It's very jiggly. However, it does not stretch. Look at this, it's ripping. It does not stretch whatsoever. It also doesn't poke. It doesn't make clicky sounds when you poke it. You can't even make a slime swirl with it. How disappointing. One good thing about it is that it's crystal clear and it's very sparkly and pretty. And if you like jiggly slime, this is very jiggly. But Overall, I do not like this. This is not a good slime. It really is not a good slime. It doesn't do anything you would normally want a slime to do. Also, it takes a really long time to get it back into the container. You have to either do it piece by piece, or you have to do this. Ugh. Yeah, very difficult to get back in the container. So I finally got it all back in the bottle after a good five minutes of trying to pack it in. It does make funny fart noises when, when you put it in and take it out, but the residue and glitter is still on my hands and my table. Let's move on to the homemade slime. So this is a normal slime I had made with glue and activator and uh, some glitter and it's kind of fluffy. For one thing, this is way easier to get out of the container. See how easy that was to get out? This is the kind of container you should put your slime in. Not, not a bottle. Not only that, but I can actually poke it. And I can actually stretch it. And you can make a slime swirl with it. Not only that, but with homemade slime, you can make many different kinds of slime. You can't buy many different kinds of slime in stores. You only get a normal slime. Yes, I agree that this isn't completely clear. Yes, I used clear glue. But this is still way more fun to play with and way more manageable than that store-bought slime. And it doesn't leave any residue at all. Well, both slimes have bubble pops, but this one has way better bubble pops. So overall, out of these two, I would definitely go for the homemade slime. Not only is it way better and way more fun and easier to play with, but it's cheaper too. You can buy a bottle of glue and a bottle of activator at the store for very cheap. While this whole pack cost me six to seven dollars. For this, it would only cost about three or four dollars. There are so many tutorials on how to make slime that's way better than this. So if you're considering buying slime, don't. Make it. 
Or if you really want to just buy slime, buy it from Etsy or from someone who makes actual homemade slime. I hope you enjoyed the video and watching me compare store-bought slime and homemade slime. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, do you prefer store-bought slime or homemade? Thank you for watching. Bye.